The situation is that you'd like to contribute an exam, but you don't have exam view. Uh, you can still help us out uh, by actually entering an exam in something called an RTF file. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to here and you're going to want to go to exam 12 RTF file. Use this as a template in Word if you don't have exam view. And you're going to download that to your desktop. You're going to see this file. This file can then be edited by you. So instead of June 1980, exam 12, make it whatever exam you have, and then simply type over the questions that I have in place, leaving it exactly as is, obviously changing the answer uh, to match the correct answer for the question. You can go ahead and you can use subscripts, superscripts, that all works fine. It's a little funky in terms of uh, adding equations. You may wanna just make a note of that in the comment section when you go to upload the file. The other thing I ask that you do is that um, any questions that have narratives, meaning a question that has an image and maybe some instructions that go with multiple questions, how to tie that to the question. So let's say I was to look at question 60 in here. Now the numbers may be slightly different in your exam, but a lot of the exams do start with 60 having groups of questions. Uh, what you'll want to do is you'll want to go ahead and type that in, put any images in. Again, you'll use the snapshot tool in Adobe. Uh, you'll want it to end up 100% size, meaning maybe view it at 100% and then paste it here, or more ideally, view it at 400% and then once it's in here, shrink it to 25% to get the image in. And then this in and of itself will not actually import uh, as a narrative, tie it to the question. You can see my other video to see a longer explanation of that. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make it look like this. You're going to put this tagline that's in blue, narrow begin, and you've got to spell it exactly like that. Give it some sort of name, there can't be any spaces, and then put narrow end. This says, this is an image and some text that I can then go ahead and tie to questions. The second thing you have to do is for every question that uses that narrative, that image, you're gonna wanna put uh, the tag NAR colon and that same name that ties it to this. And you can do that for as many questions as you want. Again, it doesn't have to be narrow begin uh, in blue, but it does have to be uh, exactly like that. Uh, let me know if you uh, have any questions, but once you have it in this format, simply save it. And then what you'll do in the Regents database is you'll want to add an entry. And when you add the entry, it's obviously going to be version 1, which is really the only version that should be an RTF file. And just go ahead and label it as RTF. And then in the comments, just explain that this is the initial. And it would be really helpful here if you let us know any questions that uh, maybe would be better edited with the equation editor in, in exam view or, or something like that will we'll make it go uh, smoother. But I can't emphasize enough how helpful it is entering this even in an RTF file uh, because that's really where the bulk of the work is in typing up these questions. So you don't need exam view to help. You can go ahead and do it in this RTF file. And uh, thanks for the help.